Hello and welcome back to Hot Ticket. I'm your host, Kevin Hornsby for Cox 11, here today to tell you about an exciting event where you can go out to eat, but for a good cause. And here today to tell me about that is Stacy Walls Beagle, the Executive Director of Access AIDS Care, and Carl Dorneman, who is the co-owner of four restaurants locally. And Stacy, why don't you start by telling us what we're doing and what we're trying to accomplish that night? Well, one, one night a year on the last Thursday in April, every year, this year the 24th, we have about 70, 75 restaurants that will participate in this event, and they will donate a minimum of 25% of their proceeds for that night to access AIDS care to raise money for HIV AIDS and bring awareness to the cause. Now, in the 80s, when the panic first set in and the awareness about this, everybody was talking about it. Mm -hmm. There's so many causes out there today that this kind of gets swept to the back burner a little bit, and it can't be. No, it's, an, it's just as important today as it was back then, and I think that bringing awareness to the cause and, and uh, decreasing the stigma mm -hmm. associated with HIV AIDS, and this kind of community events gets everybody involved and lets the whole community know how important it still is today. I think that people who were born in the 80s are now um, experiencing HIV differently than those of us who went to school in the 80s, and I think that um, this will help bring awareness to the cause and raise funds that are needed. The teenagers today, how aware are they? Because they were being you know, born in the 80s, 90s, and yeah. 2000s. So. I think people become complacent sometimes, and those children at now did not learn the lessons that we all learned in the 80s. And, mm -hmm. and so we spend a lot of time doing prevention education in the community, teaching youth today about what it means to protect themselves and make healthy, smart choices. Because it is preventable. It is 100% preventable. Carl, you have four restaurants that participate in this. Tell me a little bit about why you feel it's important to help this out. Well, I, I feel it's important um, for us. Certainly, all of the places that we have are community um, locations and, and um, restaurants. And so, for us, the, the connection there was, was simple. W once we were approached um, by Access to um, participate in this, for us it was very simple. We were just blessed enough to have a location that could be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, we were already doing and continuing to do what we do every day, which is you know run a restaurant. If we could help out in some small way to give back to the community that that feeds us, to feed them back yeah. and and take proceeds from that and move everything else forward was great. What are people saying when they come in on that night? Are they thankful that you're doing something and that you care? Everybody seems thankful. It's definitely an increased business night. It's not just a matter of. Um, another night that folks go out to eat and oh by the way we take a portion of this people genuinely plan their calendars around it those are nights that are that are very busy extra busy on the mm -hmm. restaurants those nights and Stacy you've been doing this how long this is our 11th year we're very excited Carl's been involved the whole 11 years mm -hmm. um, we see restaurants come and go but there are, is a good um, core restaurant business here in Hampton Roads and without people like Carl we could not make this event happen so and tell me where the proceeds are going because how many people here in Hampton Roads are living with AIDS? there are over 7,000 people in Hampton Roads that live with HIV or AIDS and and we're serving about 650 people a year mm -hmm. and so and that's just with our people who are HIV positive we also provide a lot of prevention services as well so um, the funds that are raised from the donations from the restaurants as well as the dining that come out that night are able to enter a raffle and make extra donations and so the funds that are raised support HIV AIDS services at Access AIDS Care. Now this isn't a Hampton Roads event. Tell me how this got started. Yeah this started in 1991 in Philadelphia at Action AIDS and they offered other AIDS service organizations across the country the opportunity to replicate the event so that one night across the entire United States and Canada we have over 60 cities participating in this event. So last year more than four million dollars was raised for HIV AIDS for this event nationwide. Yeah. And Carl, again, how do your business partners and your employees feel about participating in something like this? Everybody's excited about it. We usually, um, business partners are great with it. We're, you know, we're all um, kind of tied in the same way community-wise, um, but um, the employees themselves, uh, access while it's there also has envelopes and things for people to do private donations if they mm -hmm. want to add amounts in and, and donate stuff kind of anonymously or privately even that evening, not just what they're, not just part of the proceeds from that um, evening's eating and drinking. Well, I want to thank you both for bringing this critical information to us because it's obviously still very vital yep. that people have this awareness and protect themselves. Thank you. Well, thank you so thank much you. for being here. We want to encourage you to come out April 24th and eat and drink and be merry for a great cause. Go to accessaids.org to find out the restaurants and all the information. For Hot Ticket, I'm Kevin Hornsby. Who is a hero? 
a movie star, a TV show host, a fabulous designer, or a spicy chef. Join us and be a hero in the fight against AIDS in your city. Make a reservation now at diningoutforlife.com.